thighs. My man's is on the rise, and he fine feline that crawls. So I already did this eye, as you can tell. Um, it's not fully finished, obviously. I'm using the Maybelline Stylish Smokes Quad in Emerald Smokes. Oh, there you go. This tutorial was requested like days ago, so sorry for the delay. Um, okay, so we're going to start with a flat shader brush. This is a 941 from Sedona Lace. And um, we're going to start with this color right here, which says crease color. But I'm just going to use it on the lid. <clears throat> now, these tend to get dry after a while. I don't know why. Must be the drugstore value. I don't know. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack it on the, on the brush. And then I'm going to spray it with Fix Plus. You can use water, whatever. But I'm going to spray it with Fix Plus. It makes it come out <clears throat> ten times more vibrant. So, we're just going to pack that on the lid. This is going to take a couple layers, so be patient. <laughs> so we're only going to put this literally like where your crease stops. So it's just going to be like that, like literally like right on your lid. And then uh, what I did was I, I created kind of like a V shape. So I just kind of tilted my brush this way and just kind of went like that and then just went inwards, like brushed it inwards. I kind of create an outer V type shape. Okay, So I just kind of created a V shape. And then with the tip of the brush, I'm just going to dip it in the color just on the tip. And then um, spray it again. Boop. And then I'm going to pop this in the middle. Just right there. With an angled fluffy brush. Uh, this is the 407 from Sedona Lace. Just a nice angled fluffy brush. I'm going to take this golden olive shade right here, which is the one that's supposed to be for your lid. <clears throat> and we're going to pop that in the midsection. So I'm going to turn the brush... So you see how it's angled like that. I'm going to turn the brush so it's like this. And we're just going to bring this into the crease area. I apologize if in a second you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. My hand's going to be over. There we go. So I just basically go like this. I bring it inwards and then go like that. Like that. It's an easy way to kind of... um blend in a crease color and then at the same time I'm blending out the um that harsh edge on the green and just take a fluffy crease brush this is my MAC 224 and I'm just gonna blend out the edges then with a pencil brush this is a Sedona Lace 904 you can use any pencil brush you like. I'm going to take this outer crease shade. It's kind of like a, a dark black and green with some gold flecks in it. And I'm just going to pop this in the outer V. Just like this. I'm going to kind of create a V shape. And then drag it inwards through your crease like that. Create a little bit of definition. It looks funny now. We'll blend it. I promise. Kind of drag it from the outer corner inwards, like on this outer edge right here. Then create a V shape. And then I'm also going to drag the color down on my outer edge, just right here. And blend this down. Then take the same angled brush that you use to um, pop in your crease color and then just blend out the edges. Soften it back up. <clears throat> and with another uh, pollen bullet head type shape, dome shape ish brush. This is my uh, MAC 217. I swear to God, if you guys don't have this brush, you need to go get it. 
And I'm basically going to buff the color in this outer edge right here just to kind of smoke it out. And we're just going to do it on the outer edge and we're just going to basically do like little circle motions. And so we circle, buff, circle, and then drag, circle, drag, circle, drag. So it kind of smokes out that outer edge. Blend it again if you have to. For your highlight, just taking a flat shade, another flat shader brush. This is a MAC 252. I'm going to take the highlight color. I think it says like brow on it. Tap off the excess. Okay, we're get the way we're going to highlight, as you can see, we put most of the concentration color like literally right here. So that's what we're going to do this time on this side. We're going to concentrate the color mostly right here, like literally right on your arch, and then just drag the color. And this will give you a lot of definition where your brow is, like when you kind of tilt your head a little bit. So you want to concentrate the color mostly here, and then just drag out, and then drag in under your brow. And then put a little bit in your tear duct and blend it inwards and then we're gonna put a little bit in the inner corner on your the lower lid right here hey blend it out again this is what it looks like <clears throat> go ahead and line your eyes with whatever you want um, I'm gonna go ahead and line my actual eyes with my Clinique brush on cream liner in true black and then for my waterline, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in um, 10L. It's the black one. So I'm going to line my eyes and I'll be right back. So the look is pretty much finished. Um, here's an up-close version. So I also went ahead and just applied some falsies. This is optional, obviously. Um, in the face of the day video that I did um, with the quad, I didn't have falsies, I don't believe. But... I mean, it's nighttime. I'm about to go out, so why not? <laughs> so that's optional, obviously. I love this green, but like I said, you're going to have to pack it on. Kind of annoying. Um, for the rest of my face, um, oh, this has glue on it. Ew. Uh, I use my Clinique Perfectly Real foundation, and this is in 34N. And then, um, for my face, like just to set it, I use my MAC Studio Fix in NC42. And then, I don't remember what lashes I put on, but I think they were like red cherries or something. I don't know, I don't remember. And then for my lipstick, I just use L'Oreal's Ferris Nude. One of my favorites. It's just this nice nude shade. Um... I didn't wear any lip gloss, just has, I just have chapstick on and then this. Um, I just wanted the lips a little bit more toned down because the rest of my face or my eyes are like a little bit more intense. Um, for my cheeks, um, I used Optimistic Orange Cream Blend Blush from MAC. Oh, oh goodness. What is going on? Okay, it looks dirty. <laughs> But this is the color. Um, kind of looks like that. This is from Mac and Lily Land, I think. I don't remember. I think it's Mac and Lily Land, though. And then I use Improvised Mineralized Blush. This is limited edition, unfortunately. But I love this shade. Super pretty. It works well as um, either a highlight or a blush, whatever. Um, in the actual video, I highlighted, I don't know if you guys can really see, but, um, I used Dark Natural, oops, yeah, Dark, um, MSF Natural and Shimmer, this duo. This is really, really old, um, but I just used this gold shimmer part. It gives off a lot of shimmer, so I just did a little bit, like, right here. You can put more if you want, doesn't really matter. Um... And that's pretty much it. <laughs> See you guys in my next video. Bye! As the night falls upon the sky.
guys, my man's is on the rise And he find feline that cross to caught the eyes Play it off nonchalant like we not surprised On the grind all summer long till it's autumn time I'm allergic in spring with love in the 